our kids that live in the city that don't get to compete at a higher level and then most of them get dissatisfied or like i said they go to a private school and are able to compete and show off their skills so that's one thing that i hope we start communicating with our school district and with the a d s at the pittsburgh public schools because it's not fair that our kids have the resources but we don't train them and get them ready and the second thing when we're talking about community schools i met with the p f t last week and i think community schools are a great idea i know they have them in harlem and over in cincinnati but i don't want to leave some economic and life changing experiences on the table when we look at where our high schools are located and starting to build these community schools we have properties that surround them as well and it would be a great partnership with unions and business representatives to maybe take over an old abandoned house on the corner have the kids learn day to day process of how to rebuild a structure so they're getting union recognition and they're learning those day to day process whether it's electricians or plumbers but not just rehab a building but rehab a building so that our young kids can then run a business and my wife brought up an example and given her credit today usually i don't but in penn trafford they had a business model in class and all of a sudden when the kids graduated they started their own business and it's called p t s pizza out in penn trafford but the kids got to learn day to day skills that we don't actually teach if you look at high school kids whether it's public private even college students they come out most of them don't know how to do loans most of them don't know how to do transactions at a bank but if we start surrounding ourselves with the property when we start moving to this community school model and we give them the ability to have workforce development training right there on spot and they run their own business through the classroom then they're getting real life experience they could take with them to the future that's just something we discussed i know community schools are a great model that we're discussing having here soon but i don't want to leave opportunities on the table for economic development and for job training for the future for our students so thank you councilman o'connor uh your former employer congressman mike doyle was very helpful uh when i first took office in getting a uh a similar program that you described up and running in my council district and i'd love to have some time with you and and uh, help you share some of those things uh or share some of the things with you that we were able to to do and and some of the things we weren't able to do uh but also uh, i think your remarks tie in with the uh a passion of, of many council members for some of these employment program in the mayor's office yesterday councilwoman rudak myself councilwoman smith brought up the importance of workforce development training and how to make that a component of summer work force in employment and not just to provide menial labor to go out and either clean lots or pick up litter but to actually offer some of these employment recipients um workforce development training to actually take them to a higher level once they've uh, um had that experience with some of these employment so i think once again your remarks are extremely timely uh it was councilwoman harrison then i'll come